This is Chef Chris with Market Street. I'm going to show you how to take fresh melons and blackberries and make a very simple appetizer. Let's start off by showing you how to peel and wedge the melon. We're going to take our ends off, discard those so we have a nice flat surface to work on. And I'm slowly going to show you how to do this. Now you can be as even as you want, you can go to the next side, but you see what I'm doing? I'm just curving the blade around the melon, taking the peel off. I'm taking a little bit of orange, but you want most of the green off. Peel, cut that in half. Get rid of all of our seeds, and we just cut them in bite-sized wedges. And dice, just like that. Let me show you how to do melon balls. I have a honeydew melon here that I just cut in half. I've not peeled this. So I'm using a melon ball scoop here. It's got a smaller side and a larger side. We're going to use the larger side here. Uh, it's shaped as, uh, as so, so you can take it, you put it on the melon, and you just wrap it around like so. You're going to have somewhat of a flat end. It's going to be hard to get perfect round, but you just take it, move it around, and go just like that. Okay, so we have our melon balls here, as well as our wedges. What I'm going to do now is show you how we're going to wrap these with some nice serrano ham. This is a, a Spanish cured ham. Okay, we're going to lay our melon flat side down. That'll be our surface that the uh, melon sits on. And we're just going to wrap that serrano around like so. We've got some fresh blackberries here that go great with this melon and this salty prosciutto or serrano, which I have. You can add a flavored vinegar if you'd like. I like doing maybe a, a, a sherry vinegar, something of that nature. But another fun way and a really nice flavor is adding some balsamic glaze. And what this is is balsamic vinegar that's been reduced down to a syrup. And we're just going to drizzle this over the melons. And I'm going to garnish it with some fresh thyme right out of the garden. Coming up next, I'll be making a sweet and spicy chipotle chicken with blueberry and mango salsa.